1904, the first New York subway opened for business, the Lexington Avenue line in Lower Manhattan. Two years later, the line linked up with Brooklyn. It was a masterful achievement, heralded as a paragon of human engineering skill and modern technology. Other private companies quickly followed suit, and New York's social, economic, and cultural history was changed forever. As late as the 1960s, New York subways provided cheap and efficient transportation and counted among their ridership tourists, visiting dignitaries, and of course, the thousands of commuters who traveled back and forth between Manhattan and the outlying boroughs. During the 1970s, the conditions of the subways declined dramatically. By 1981, graffiti littered every train, breakdowns occurred every 7,000 miles, and crime ran rampant throughout the system. However, cooperation between the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, the Transit Authority, and several consumer advocate groups, including the Strap Hangers campaign, yielded amazing results. Service improved. The trains were more regularly cleaned and maintained. By 1991, trains traveled an average of 30,000 miles before experiencing mechanical failures. And the stations themselves benefited from increased police protection and regular maintenance. Clearly, more must be done. Many riders feel that service is still unpredictable at best. And recent events have galvanized both city officials and the public to renew their commitment to safe subway travel. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm George Desart. Today we're going to talk about possible approaches to this issue. We have with us Ann Harrow, who is the campus coordinator and organizer of the Strap Hangers campaign. We have Chantale Bail, who is a graduate student of Brooklyn College, a native of Paris, where she rode the subways frequently. We have Lance Willis, who is a senior majoring in physics at Brooklyn College and is a former project director of the Strap Hangers campaign and Alan Bow, a sophomore, and a major in English, who is the present coordinator of the Strap Hangers campaign. And I want to thank you all for taking the time and the effort to join us here today. We also asked for a representative from the Transit Authority, and unfortunately, there was no one available today. 